Hey guys, it worked at last. Oh god, I've had such a fucking Linux nightmare today. I'm not I'm not even joking, like actual like Linux nightmare. FFmpeg was fucked and then then I fixed hey FFmpeg and I'm watching the audio on my oh own god, stream. I've had such a fucking Linux nightmare Fuck. today. I'm not it's I'm not even joking. Stream like, ever. Actual, like, Linux it's, the, it's the best stream ever. It was it's obviously just just beautiful, just beautiful. Um hey everybody. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm cleaning glasses so I can take the headlights off because you guys don't need me to switch camera. You can just like look into my eyes and shit. I promise. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I've just uh, there we go. There we go. The headlights are off. It's not vastly bad. This is wow. These are not clean. You get to see the mole eyes now. My my eyes where my glasses are a different color because all my glasses are UV filtered, so I don't tan here. And I always look ill when I take my glasses off, which, granted, is something of a first world problem. Jesus Christ, what have I got on these? Ass acid. Yeah, I just realized I said ass acid on a stream. Uh, so, guys, anyway, today, what we're doing is. Um, wow, is chat not working? Hold on, let's have a look. Boom. Oh, yeah, chat's working. Oh, yeah, chat's working. Hey there, Ro Robo. Rob. Robo. Tezek. Robo. Rob. Hey! How you doing? I can still see ass nothing through my glasses, which is nice. I'll keep cleaning those as we go on, I dare say. So, yeah, the idea today, guys, is I'm, I'm going to install BSD. If there's any problems with the stream or there's any weird sound things going on, you guys will have to tell me. And if for any reason any of you guys want to help me later, feel free to jump on Discord because I'm probably going to need some help. Um, I'm using VirtualBox today, and I know there's people out there going, I don't like VirtualBox, you need to use blah, 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 blah. Well, guys, I like VirtualBox. It works for what I need because this is a learning exercise. This is me discovering what it is to be, to be a BSD user. And for that, VirtualBox is just fine. So let's have a little looky, shall we? Let's have a little looky. Um, let's go. Let's. We're gonna install. Which BSD are we gonna install? I downloaded a BSD. Let's uh, have a look in the downloads folder. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Where did I put that ISO? I've got PC BSD. Oh, there you go. I've got a uh, Dragonfly BSD, which apparently um, likes to come in in a compressed archive. So that's just that's just great. Thanks for that. Okay, I've got to uncompress that first. She's gonna take me like two, three seconds. I don't know. Yeah, see, I knew it. The second people see, like people see VirtualBox, and they're like, "No man, Vert Manager." That like, just works. It's fucking fine. I use it like, like I don't know, what like three times a year. <laughs> see, I'm not too good. Look at this. Why, why does it do this? Look at this uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I disappoint you. I I try not to. I try not to. Why is this taking so fucking long? <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm trying to install Dragonfly anyway, which has either crashed or it just takes a really long time. I don't, I don't really know which. I'm just, let's see, is it, is it, is it Dragonfly DSD's unzipped? Oh, there you go, it's finished now. Yay, yay, yeah, it won't go away. Now everything's crashed. Oh, that's good. It's a good start, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Is it? There we go. That was weird. I don't know what that was about. Um, dragon. Whoa. What was that? Shredder's in the Shredder. Shreddy's now hosting me with one viewer. Thank you, Shreddy. I'm sure there's more than one viewer on your channel, though. Dragonfly BSD. I'm going to use the word, I'm going to use the word distro for this because I don't know what the correct vernacular is. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll give, I'll give it a go. Selecting BSD. See, this is always confusing. What the fuck? I'm just, I'm just gonna hit free BSD 64 bit. There's no options. I'm just, I'm sure free BSD. Is that a nipple? The fuck is that? Or, a, or a weird, creepy hand? Or, 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 or the, the, wow, that thing. Wow, we, we need that thing in our lives. Um, recommended memory. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't know, eight gig, eight gig, eight ish, the eight mark. That'll be fine. I do appreciate that one viewer because I know for a fact that your channel sucks in the viewers from all over the internet, Shred. And I'm more than happy to have your one viewer because I'm absolutely sure the five viewers I have right now have all come from your channel. Hey, Joy Bear. I'm not, I'm not sure you're going to enjoy this, Joy Bear. 
Uh, hard disk. Let's create a hard disk now. Just just create one. Just cre let's create a dynamically sized one, shall we? Uh, and let's give it, I don't know, uh, 128 gig. That'll do. Yeah, let's create that. Let's have a little look. See, before we go any further, let's because because the problem the, the problem is with this. It's like it always goes floppy drive. We don't need that shit processor. We 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 don't. Do we want that? That's probably fine. It's probably fine. Uh, start and uh, <laughs> no, Shreddy, you're still sucking in the viewers. You're doing a much far better job than me. Uh, we don't want Windows Seven Ultimate. We don't want that. Um, I do actually own Windows Seven Ultimate, guys. That is just an ISO I have because I couldn't be asked to make one myself. I can even show you guys the box if you really want, but that'd be really bad for my image. Dragonfly. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, you said you said hi now, bye. Well, I, I appreciate the hi, bye. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, oh boot. Okay. I didn't push anything. Can it? It booted. Can I just make this bit? There, is that? That's huge. That's fine. We can all see chat now. There's, yeah, I think there will be dragons. I'm sure there'll be dragons. So uh, let's have a look. Should we have a little look at the website for Dragonfly um, while, while we're waiting so we're not getting ourselves into? Um, Dragonfly BSD. What the fuck is that? To start the installer, log in as installer. Okay. That seems fine. That seems, ooh. Ooh. Have a little look. See, drag. Okay, like so. Let's let's first of all before we do this, let's find out what we. That's the Wikipedia page. I don't want the Wikipedia page. I want, I want the actual Dragonfly page. Dragonfly. I don't think I need to bring my whole Twitch window over here as well. That would have been better to just separate the. Yeah, guys, I don't know what I'm doing with Firefox. I'll be honest. Okay, um, I'm doing Dragonfly BSD instead of any other BSD because Gus in chat said, "Hey, dude." do dragonfly and he seems to know what he's talking about much more than me so i was like go on then and what i find odd here is they don't feel the need there's no screen or oh, images there you go there's no screenshots so like dragonfly bsd i want to see oh, see it's just pictures of fucking dragonflies i want to see what my desktop is going to look like what the end result's going to be that pisses me off okay uh right, install dragonfly configure an installed system i'll just install dragonfly Install Dragonfly BSD. Uh, this application will install Dragonfly BSD on one of the hard disk drives attached to this computer. It's a VM. Let's just 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 hit next. Okay, select a disk which to install. The only one with space, I'm guessing. Using just go nuts. Um, are you absolutely sure? Yes. Okay. If this is where I like, I find out it's broken at the VM, and I'll restart my computer, and it's just gone. The whole, all of it, it's all gone. Um, okay, please <laughs> select the file system you wish to use for Dragonfly. Hammer is the new file system. UFS is traditional. What? What's this? Right, so I'm doing awesome things with Firefox I just didn't realize in the past. There is no end result. Okay. Uh, I'm going to catch up with chat now, guys. Hold on. Let me, let me catch up with chat. Right, we're on, fire, we're on Firefox, and you're right. I can do that. You, there you go. Whoa, you're cool. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Um, so are these like, from what I understand, it's just like a distro, right? From what I understand. So it's, I'm sure it's fine. Let's just, let's just use Hammer. Yes, use Hammer. Yeah, Gus says use Hammer, so we're using Hammer. Wow, see this, I, this I understand, and that look that actually looks fine. Um, set up the uh, partitions. I've just moved my camera. I forgot my camera was on my monitor, and and the, 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 it's it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Let's have a look. Ah, ah, whoa, control, whoa, Windows key goes back. Wow. Okay, there's something to remember. Don't press the Windows key, the Command key. I don't know what we call it. the Meta key. What are we even calling it now? What are we even calling it now? Let's have a look. Uh, now my my camera's still fine. I was I was being paranoid. It's fine. Uh, so I want there. Use the entire disk. Okay. Formatted. Use hammer. Right. That looks fine because that's mount swap build. Okay. Mount swap and root. Okay. Mount swap and root. I get. Are we using super key? That's what it's saying. My 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 key's got a picture of a penguin on it. A penguin. I don't know if you can. I can't. I have no way of telling if you can see that or not. 
the penguin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. Ah, that's the <laughs> Wow, uh that's uh that's inception if ever I've seen it. There we go, now I can see. Alright, anyway, look, 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 that's a picture of a penguin, look, picture of a penguin, look, picture of a penguin. Oh, there you go. There's a the penguin there, a little penguin there. And uh, there's 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 a YOLO guy and a, 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 a half life symbol, the lambda. Yeah. Okay. Sudo's a salad man. He's got a big I love Windows logo on his super key. Okay. Warning: Small hammer file systems can fill up very quickly. You may have to run hammer prune everything. Is hammer just? Is it just? Is it really a file system or is it just? B tree FS or butter FS, whatever. I'm just okay, fine. It's a learning exercise. Okay, okay. So uh, we're just we're just hanging out now, I suppose, until something. Should I go over here a little bit? <laughs> I'll move. I'll move because the camera's attached to the monitor, and that sucks. Okay. So oh, okay. Begin installing files. Okay, that seems fine. That seems absolutely fine. That seems great. Uh. X. <laughs> no, no. I think I think Hammer's um, ButterFS because ButterFS has that fill-up problem. Um, I don't think XFS has that fill-up problem, does it? Move the mic a bit. What, what do you want to move my move my mic? Okay. How's that? I'm I'm hal If I'm hal allowed, turn your speakers down. Like seriously, turn turn your speakers down, dude. Just turn them down. Ooh, that was weird. Everything froze then for a second. Ah, yes. Uh, how about... Does that help? I've turned my mic down. I like it close to my face so that you can't see my bad English teeth. Uh, I shouldn't be clipping. I like... Oh, I'm... Over. I'm down. I'm down to there. Is that is that all right? How do I say now? I shouldn't be clipping. Sorry. Is that is that all right? It should be fine. I'm not. I'm not too close. This is a condenser mic. I have to be eating it to sound nice. Just, just seriously. That's what what I did was I measured the distance and then I, I put the the guard here. And when my beard tickles the guard, I'm close enough. I've done science on this shit, like for real. So I, I sound okay now. That's good. That's good. Um, accept and install boot blocks. You may wish to install boot blocks on one or more disks. If you already have a boot manic, no, it's fine. We'll install that. It's too silent now. Are you for real, dude? You guys are stressing me out. So the problem is you guys are 30 seconds behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. Where's the sound up there? There you go. The sound thing. Uh, where's the sound thing? There you go. Here's the sound thing, right? Here's where I am, right? This is this is my microphone. I'm going to go to there. Now, it looks it looks good to me. It looks, it looks great to me. Uh, uh, yep, and I'm being down mixed to mono in there. So that should be fine. Yeah, I should, I should, I should sound beautiful. I should, I should. No, the OBS volume's at max. Seriously, the OBS volume's all the way up. <laughs> guys, if if I close this now, then you guys are like, no, no, it's shit. I'm gonna kick your ass, guys. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be gonna cry, I'm gonna pissed off, I'm gonna be all sassy and shit. Uh, configure this system or reconfigure this system. Select time zone. Yeah, okay, you can see, oh, uh, gold. Uh, page down works, yay, page, no, what? That's weird, oh, it's only one page, that's why. Europe. Uh, l -l 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 London, I'm not in, in London, but, you know, it's close enough. Time and date setup, I don't care. Keyboard map. Yay, uh, 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 huh, where's Ian? Did I go past Ian? The oh, fuck, there's no EN. The absolute fuck. What the fuck? Hmm. Nintendo Life updated, is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah guys um i don't know i know what i'm talking about guys um no i've recently quit reddit like for real quit reddit and uh as a way of getting my news without the uh the the, the ass hats on reddit i'm using the old reader and i've got this desktop app which i forgot was open which updates my news stuff every 45 minutes all right so if you see pop-ups that say things like pornhub updated it's just my news feed for pornhub so i know what's been posted you know it's just that it's fine did it what <laughs> uh yeah was, i'm not seeing uk either i'm not seeing uk either not uh Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, since the uh, the Telegram hack, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're a UK. Yeah, you're right. Uh, UK ISO keyboard. That's probably fine. Uh, set root password. Let me in one. Let me in one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really subscribe to Pornhub, guys. I just visit it regularly. Add a user. Okay. Hex DSL. Real name. Hex DSL. Password. Let me in one. Let me in one. Works for me. Oh, what? User ID. What? User ID. Can it just... Do they just... just that's fine. That's probably fine. Uh... Okay. Configure network interfaces. What the fuck? Uh, EMO. Use DHCP. That was fine. Uh, I just kind of, I just, I just kind of want to be in it and figuring out what it is. <laughs> BRB hacking. <laughs> Uporn has more midgets. Um, yeah does i'm more into armor plated lesbians though so you know how it is <laughs> hey boss bear's back hey boss bear uh set console font configure you know what i reckon we're fine i re okay i reckon we're fine reboot we're fine right guys we're probably fine don't need to eject this disc oh it's eject is it done it for me <laughs> Uh huh. Press any key to reboot. That should do it. Uh huh. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yes, Zoom. You heard the words armor plated lesbians. <laughs> I know for a fact you're going to go Google that now. Good work. Uh, I don't know what this is doing. Let's, uh. Huh. Mm. Is there any operation halted? What? I did that. Reset. Yeah, reset the machine. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Oh, it hangs itself on ACP. Okay. It's fine. I can live with that. Oh, man. Did I just... Did it? Is it booting off the disk again now? That's what you get for not paying attention. It's funny actually, because like I said I'd quit Reddit and no one freaked out. Where like where like if I said I quit Reddit like twelve months ago, people would have been, Why dude? Why would why do you want to leave Reddit? And it's like it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Right, yeah, oh god. See that's 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 not word at all, has it? That's not that's boot from the disc that has. Yeah. Optical drives, remove discs, machine, restart. Restart, that should do it. Let's see what we get now. I don't know why it does that. Wow. Hmm, default F1. What the fuck? One, boot Dragonfly. No one can see anything. I've just realised that actually. There you go. I'll put chat over here. And and, and that's yeah, my chat's shit. You know what guys? Um I've realised how bad I'm just gonna turn chat off. I can still see it guys, alright? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the the login. Aha, login. HexDSL. Let me. Ooh, let me in one. What? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, that's great. I'm just I'm just here at the desktop. That's it's just wonderful. It's just just the best desktop ever. It's the best. It's the best. This is the best operating system ever. Did it? Did my install go wrong? Oh no. Um. Sorry. Uh, S bit. Yeah. I uh. I'm sick of the. There's two problems with Reddit. The conversations in chat have been people trying to prove that that they're ass hats. Like it's just like people have been just like, look, I'm smarter than you, and I'll prove it with this comment. It's like, no, you're wrong. I'll prove I'm smarter than you with this comment. Um, that's sort of been the, what I've experienced in chat lately. Um, and the actual article curation used to be really good, like good stuff was posted, and now I'm finding a lot of hipster shits being posted, and not very much actual articles are coming up on my feed. So I'm finding I'm actually getting news before Reddit by using a news a news RSS reader. So it's a bit weird. Uh, uh huh. So, uh, you're saying I should do this command. Oh, what? I can't paste. Oh, that's got in, isn't it? That's got in, isn't it? Uh, so, pkg install. Why didn't the installer do this? Is there not a manage packages type thing or something? Can install that? Seems weird. xorg dash server. Insufficient privileges. Pseudo. Oh my god, it stresses me out. Oh, what? Oh no, that's not it. God damn it. Root. Password. Okay, the passwords have failed. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get some shit done for real. Oh, it's it's Sue. Okay, that's. Well, we're in, we're in, okay. So we should we should do it. Okay. Um. Log out. DSL. Let me. Let me in one. I keep going to start my actual like Linux password. <laughs> Sue is a package. Okay, so uh, Sue. Oh, that worked. Uh. Insufficient privileges. Is it just like Sue space? Oh, okay, okay, okay. BSD's fun so far. Okay, it's fine. Um, so <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, thanks very much, dude. Thanks. I'm. I don't even notice, but I'm not. I'm not like looking at a guide or any shit. I'm just fucked. I'm just fucking trying to figure this shit out. Install sudo first. What? You have to install sudo. The fuck am I installing sudo for? Did someone, did someone put me a fucking fucking thing from scratch? Install sudo. Sudo. It's great. See, I'm doing it. I'm getting there. I don't know your BSD. He's not a member of the wheel group, guys. The fuck are you lunatics talking about? All right, proceed with action. Yes. Yeah, proceed with action. See, I'm not a member of the wheel group. That's why Sue doesn't work for this user. Man. I'll tell you what, can I just get chatty working? If I get chatty up, and I just bring up my own chat group, you guys can read chat and I haven't got a fuck around. Wow. Virtualization really ticks any machine, doesn't it? Uh huh. Chatty was already running. Chatty! Yeah, there you go, guys. Now everyone can read chat, and forever the internet will have a log of my ass hattery. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, okay, so. It's very entertaining. Thanks, dude, because I don't know what I'm doing. So I've installed, so, um, so, uh, PKG. Install. Uh, what was it? What were we saying was going to install? Was it? 
G password hex wheel. You are you are kidding me. I've got to type that shit. G password hex DSL wheel. What? Oh, I put an O M. It's password. G password. G password. That's what you said, wasn't it? G oh, man, no R either. No. Aha. G pass WD hex DSL wheel. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> I I was just gonna like install like Sorg from from here to be to be honest. Just gonna just gonna install it from here. It'd probably probably be fine. Um PKG install Xorg dash server. Can it, will it install both? Oh, okay, I'll just do that. Yeah, it's working now. I can install shit. Yeah. How big is Xorg? How big is that? What well, isn't the other one like? What is it like? Free BSD? The one that like just everything's just fine. <laughs> I'm actually like right, right. Okay, um, Rob and everyone else in chat. It should be pretty fucking obvious that winging it is kind of my thing. All right, winging it. Yeah, and also. These commands are not exactly Linux commands, are they? I mean, let's let's be honest, you know. Just be honest. Just it's it's fine. Just 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 getting through it, guys. Just getting through it. And Archer's got a wiki that I follow from start to finish. This, as you can see from my screen, just sort of fucking about. It's fine. <laughs> Why do I always need to sneeze when I start streaming? Is that like a magic trick? I've got to worry about. Wow, this is a uh, yeah, this is riveting. Yeah, it's um, we're watching the stores. It's going well, but yeah, no, no, I wing it anyway. Like I said, I wing it, and uh, Sud Sud Shred should be in here telling me what to do. He's sis admin for fucking Red Hat, fucking successful bastard. Successful people annoy me. Yeah, yeah no, I'll, I'll do that next. I didn't realize I could do more than one thing. That I did. I didn't realize that I could do. I could do more than one thing. I thought it was like one, then the next one, the next one. I realize now that yeah, I can do more than one thing. Oh, and and modify my X in it RC. <sighs> Obviously, obviously, just just have to do that. So, uh, how does system does system D on here? I know to use system D. I know I know to use system D. That's something I can do. Oh, these glasses are horrible. I've got, another, I've got another cloth here. I'm going to try again to make these glasses clean. I don't know what I've got on them. Um, I don't know. I just, just, it looks like, I don't know, something oily. It's probably from that time on Pornhub. Okay, how's that? Oh, I can see. That's a much better cloth. I'm going to retire the blue cloth and stick with the yellow cloth. <laughs> Pseudo has no idea. Pseudo, no idea. Okay, uh, right. Uh, okay, so... Install. What was we going to install next? Uh, X uh, install dash X org in it. Is X org in it? X F C E. And do we need to install? Do we need to install Slim? No, Light DM. Light DM. This is all Light DM. Let's just install all that shit. Uh, X or X in it. Maybe. Yeah, chat is far behind, dude. X org. That's all. X org. What? X in it. Hmm. Hmm, is it not XOR guys? Come on guys, you can do it. No, uh I I what XORG X is what I'm doing, isn't it? Install XORG dash X in it. Z 
see. You guys think you're so smart. You got there. You go. X, that worked. XDM. <laughs> XDM worked. I don't. I don't know. Well, come on, guys. Maybe we don't have to install XDM. Maybe it was a dependency. Maybe it was a dependency. Probably it's probably fine. What? No light DM. What? Slim. Yeah, slim works. We'll just do slim. I ain't bothered. Just install Xorg. Yeah. Just just Xorg. It'll be fine. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Walt's like I like the way everyone in chat's getting so frustrated and was like, No! Fuck this guy. He doesn't know anything. This guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah, I know. That's why it's funny. If I knew what I was doing, this stream would be boring. It'd just be me going, I know this. I know this. And it'd just be shit. But this is this is epic. There's no light there's no light DM. Obviously. There's the GDM. Oh, no gnome because of no <sighs> Because of because of no system D. Next all you saying? Yeah, that works. Let's just go with that. Sixty two meg, we can be fine. Dragonfly index. What? Walter's van fault running the handbook. You cheating bastard! You cheating bastard! The handbook. Check out me using Firefox. Damn. Oh. So I, you guys are all to me like, how did you install Arch? I followed the guide. How did you, how did you get me to install this? Well, you followed the guide, then read it to me. Yeah. Uh, Dragonfly 3D don't need that. Yeah, that sounds good. Xorg minus configure. That sounds cool. We'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. It's fine. <laughs> ASMR XDSL at your service. Zoom. We're going to be running xorg dash configure next for Zoom. Yeah, that's the most of that I'm doing. The handbook is good. Yeah, I've heard that the uh, the handbook for BSD is good, but I don't know, I don't know why the fuck I'm mean, still even installing Dragonfly BSD. I I think what happened was Gus was like, oh, this is this is going to be a shit show. Let's just make him install this shit. He'll never get it working. That's what I think happened. Because I swear the other one. Which one is that? Which was the one that I download? And what I was going to do originally was a uh, PC BSD, and from what I understand, I click install and that's it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> What? So if you install NetBSD, you have everything there. What? It's okay. Fucking you guys. <sighs> um, glad I could help you, Zoom. D don't send me the video. PC BSD. What? What's wrong with PC BSD? What? What's wrong with PSD? PC BSD. It had a shiny website. It's not crap. Be it's truly be it. Is, is this like people go? Is this like how people go? Um, oh, you're installing Ubuntu. Ubuntu's crap. It's not. It's just fine. See, look, PC BSD. PC BSD dot org. No, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not bailing on you guys. Look, how pretty does that look? Look, tracking free guarantee. It's got this little life raft here, and it looks like, is that KDE? Yeah, it looks like KDE. Maybe that's next. You guys don't know. <laughs> it's fine, guy, Gus. It's fine. We're having fun. It's fine. Okay, it's at 25 of 128. I'm just going to just go over there and get that bottle of water, all right? Nobody freak out. I'm not abandoning you guys. I'm totally abandoning you guys. I don't know why I'm wearing headphones. I don't know. I don't know why. You're not talking to me. My speakers are turned off. I don't know why I've got headphones on. 
guys, if anyone wants to come on to Discord and talk to this in real life, you're more than welcome to. No, Zoom likes the ASMR. Zoom's mad for the ASMR. It really pleases him. Wow, it's weird. I've just sat back down and I'm watching myself get up in chat. There I am. There I am again. Glad I was wearing trousers for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys. What actually happened was I was like, this BSD, this BSD malarkey is shit. And I was like, I just got up and left. Play some music. Oh, where do you get the free music from then? Come on, where where, where do we get where do we get you're the you're the boss man, Shred. Where do I get music from that won't get me taken down on YouTube when this goes up on YouTube? Where's the pod save music? Oh, okay, cool. And um, xorg dash figure. What? Was it X was it not xorg configure? Was it not? I'm sure it's xorg configure. Let's have a look. Uh X oh capital X. Oh, Obviously. No. Huh. This is what happens when we start X. <gasps> Holy shit, that actually worked. Cool. Actually worked. Oh. <laughs> oh no, how do I stop X now? Can it will it will it do will it do like No, no, no. How do I fuck do I fucking get out of this fucking thing now? This is going well. Ah, ah, what's that do? What, how did I get that up? I got something up then. How did I get that up? There's something appeared then. Ah. Aha. Aha. Yeah. And now I'm now I'm back here again. It's fucking great. This is going well. It's going well. If in doubt, just restart the machine. What's the worst that can happen? Reset the machine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I would honestly, right? No, I know I've got. I know, guys. I know that I've got edit of that, but genuinely, I am shocked that that worked. I did not think that'd work at all. No, 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 yeah, I know no, that Zoom, but genuinely, I didn't. I did not think that installed properly. That's why I was like, "It's." I'll just try it. See what happens. Also, I don't think I installed anything see you for yet. What? I'm on Discord. Am I? Yeah, I'm on Discord. Free music archive. Open URL. Free music archive. Free music. Is there got a radio button I could just hit? Can I just like is it just a radio? Hey, there you go. Gus is here. Say everybody say hi, Gus. He's someone that he's the reason I'm doing this. You're the reason, dude. You made me do this. Can I... Where, right, Shreddy, man. Where's the play button on this website? I just want to hit the play music. I just want to hit the... Do I Root. Let me in one. And uh, what was the command to install? Oh, what was it? What was it? Package? Was it package? There you go. Package install XFC4. Well, there's no XFC. Why well, don't you just search for the for the packets there? You can just uh, say PKG search and XFCE, and then it brings you the list of available packages. Like, like snappy packages. No, just PKG search, and then the term you are searching for. That's exactly how snappy packages work. I don't know how it's. I don't care, you know. Like everything works like that. Like uh, <laughs> Yum and DNF and z so Zipper and whatever. No XFC falls in in there. XFC falls in there. Yes, no surprise. Yeah, but it's like when I type pack install XFC four, it says no. No. Oh. <laughs> that's about? why I, I, I'm, I'm telling you to search for available oh, yeah. packages I have to search XFCA this is the only way you, you uh, uh, see how, it, how, it's, how it's called 
Okay. Well, the name is. Okay, guys, genres. I'm thinking we listen to some. Oh no, we could have some spoken for Zoom. Zoom could listen to some spoken music, or uh, or a little bit of rock, a little bit jazz. Oh, jazz. Mm. Guys, let's listen to some fucking jazz. Let's install some BSD and listen to some jazz. And I can just can I just hit? Is, is, is what's that button do there? Is that like a play or what? Play page. There you go. Hey, how's that? Can you still hear me, Gus? Yes, I can hear you. No problem. We're listening to some jazz on the stream now. No idea. I, I have what? turned off the stream uh, music, uh, stream sound because I would have an echo. Wait, <laughs> uh, Zoom, I do know my layout is fucked. I don't give a shit. Uh, what layout is fucked? I think he's talking what, about the fact that mean? like my uh, my theme is completely fucked and like everything's got these white boxes, everything's like white out and uh, and if I click this, look, like, this goes off the screen sometimes. I think that's what he's talking about. Yes, uh, the yes, the Twitch stream is somehow not really helpful. Oh shit, guy! No, that's what you're talking about. Oh, man. <laughs> Should have said that earlier. There you go, guys. <laughs> Fuck sake, guys! How long has that been like that? You guys should have said that ages ago. Fix your layout, noob. That's where that came from. There you go. There you go. Good work, Zoom. That's why I should keep my eye. That's why I should totally. That's why I should totally keep my eye on that. Not be fucking around with music. Should the be... best way is to have one window of a monitor. No, no, it's. Uh, I've taken. You have. You have. Your, your your own monitoring stream. That goes out on another monitor where you where you see what is actually going out. I've got that, but I covered it up with free music archive. Oh. I thought you were talking about no, my. No, no. Uh, I thought you were talking about my gnome theme. My gnome theme is completely fucked. You're absolutely right. A gnome is fucked up beyond repair, but that, that's not a whole another topic. Yeah. Um. The, uh, the the gnome being fucked up thing, I it's fucked up in that way that I kind of think looks nice. So I decided just not to fix it. Just not to fix it. I like it. <laughs> Hex blind. Yeah, I fixed it. All right, fixed. That was ages ago. I I, I liked the first uh, the first uh, releases of Gnome Three, where you had these uh, bubbles of chat uh, where you could type into while watching a video or something. But they removed it a while ago. Guys, the... that was like Fedora 15, uh, 16 and so on, was it? Oh man, I don't think that's Disoid, I think that's Jazz. Ah, oh, yeah. So, how are we progressing? We're fine, I killed the Jazz guys. Because you guys are saying it's clipping, I'm sorry. This is just, this, this, I think it's because I'm like, virtualizing. And recording. Luckily. What are you installing there? What are you installing? Uh, that's I typed XFCE and it's just pulled down a boatload of shit. So I'm just letting it carry on. Just letting it carry on. Okay. Yes, okay. I've, I've I've stopped the music, guys. It's, it's this two minute delay thing is annoying. Oh, so it's when the music peaks. Okay, that's cool. I'm I'm just turning. Music just turning is off distorted and clipping. Blah blah blah. Well, uh, I I don't hear it. I I just uh, read the chat. But that may be the reason. Um, are you using your monitor output to uh, pass the music onto them or what? Uh, yeah, it's just taking the uh, desktop audio. I don't know what desktop audio is, but if when you when you take the monitor output, it it uh, sounds distorted and clipping with. Uh, um, um, you know what I mean. Pull the audio. That's uh, that's not a bug. That's a feature. <laughs> it's like I have the same. Yay! How's the, how's the volume now? Mm. I've I've decided to type in just type an answer in chat. 
because it's uh, too it's loud two compared minutes. to Hex. Well, yeah. I'm I'm screaming here. That's that's not I, uh, that's not a bug. That's that's uh, somehow a factual statement. Whereas I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna start shouting to even it out. So instead of lowering <laughs> yes, your volume, you have to shout over yeah. me. So instead of lowering your volume, I'm just gonna shout whenever you talk. <laughs> Every time, just rah. It's fine. Uh, mm. This I don't know what the fuck. Oh, is it? Yay! It's 106 packages. Um, this is this is this is a ball ache. What is this? The Arch of XF of BSD? Is that what's happening here? Did you get me to install the BSD equivalent of Arch? I don't understand what you mean now. Well, like, this BSD seems like a lot of work, right? Whereas like no, uh, PC I, I think, BSD is it's, it's, it's other it's other way around. Arch is much like BSDs. Uh, they, they, they have they have a pretty simple uh, and clunky packages that you just throw in there. That's so Arch is more like BSD and not the other way around. Hey, uh, can I just point out as well, guys? Fuck you guys. I like Nintendo Life. It's an interesting website that gives me my Nintendo news. Nintendo news. News Tendo. News Tendo. We're going there with Nintendo. Uh, Star uh, XF. Oh, is it XFCE? Is it just that? No. What's the command start XFC from the command line? Oh my god. You guys said it back here, didn't you? Start XFC. You have to type in the X in it. This is why. X in it. When you want to. So you can't use start. Huh? Yeah. Start XFC A4. I'm curious. There you go. There you go. Done. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this over here so I can see you guys now. And I'm at this big. Uh, use default. Okay, guys, I've got it. Um, Gus, mate, when I talk, it's activating your mic, which is a bit weird. Do 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 do. Okay, so my BSD is on. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that's because my I have to put um. That's. It's okay. Hmm. So, now should be better. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm speaking and I can't. No, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Stop. Okay. okay, so, uh, let's have a little look see. Do we have any applications installed? Display. There we go. So, can we, can we 1024 by 768? That can't be like okay, can it? Devices. Where's the view? Scale mode. Switch. That's boom. That's the one way of doing it, I suppose. Oh, okay. Uh, control F. Full screen. Yeah, that's slightly better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good job. BSD installed. Time to wipe the hard drive. That's, that's that's fair comment, guys. Um. I'm curious. I've got Dragonfly installed. But much like when you install Arch or when you install like any Linux distro for the first time, you kind of like get to the point where you're uh, where you're there and you'll be like, "Hey, it's fine." Maybe you could run X render to to see what, what uh, resolutions are. So Actually, in a terminal emulator. Um, I don't think that uh, X render X render. Render, there we go, I remember that. Yeah, it, it is the same as the one in, it's the same as uh, the display option. It, it's up to 1024 by 768. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Zoom's uh, Zoom saying about Arch is so easy to install and so wonderful. I've installed Arch three times from scratch, like like properly installed Arch three times from scratch. And every time I was like... Arch is good on Raspberry, please. No, Arch, Arch, is, Arch is fine. But I was like, when I found out there was distros based on Archer, I was like, that just seems like a much better idea. That just seems like a far easier thing to do. So, let's have a look. So, the file system is... What is sudo shred start working for Red Hat? What, what, what's that about? Sudo shred starts working for Red Hat on the 29th, apparently. What, what is he working for? I mean, I mean, for the company. Yeah, for company Red Hat. He's... Uh, He's he's gonna be working as their their head mopper. He's gonna be mopping things, I assume. Yeah, I see, I see. Okay, so 
That doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know. I'll get to the virtual box drivers. I, I, I know I that. I think that the only on the only way how to um, let it uh, bigger is to start with that kind of bigger le- resolution, so that he starts in that w- with that uh, uh, resolution. Yeah, no, that's fine. I know I've got his all the drives and stuff, but what I'm more interested in doing right now is I want to do learn about what exactly a BSD was, right? And like what it is and what people you use it for. Also, but, you could also start a, a start a VNC server on it and just connect over VNC. That's also a, well, an option. Well, that's, that's fine. But what I'm actually going to do right now is I am going to... Ooh, that's you should, you there. should take a look at the Hammer file system, what, what's there new. Because the Hammer file system is exclusive to dragonfly and it can remember a file history so it is it's like it's a copy a copy on write file system like zfs or okay butterfs but it can um you have a version history of each file yeah yeah that sounds untested What? It sounds like an untested file system. I'm not sure it's a good idea. How long has it been around? Uh, Hammer file system is very uh, stable. Hammer 2 is untested, but the Hammer 1 file system, the one you have installed now, it's, it's quite stable. I had never problems with it. The only the only problem is... Hey, it's I is perfect. Thanks for following. The um, quota. I don't know if they implemented quota yet, because quota. Last time I I was um, using Dragonfly BSD for a, a test, just like, and um, they had pretty poor quota support. The quotas that, that was horrible. It didn't work at all. <laughs> Sanitation engineer, Shudo Shred would like to stress that he is an engineer. Not a aforementioned jizz mopper. Not not a jizz mopper. He's an engineer, and as an engineer, he demands our respect. Nah, whatever. That's uh, what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to see what experience I have with PC BSD because I have a feeling that the version of BSD that I think I was I thought I was going to get was basically this one. See, boot multi user. Uh, press space to pause. But just enter, just just hit enter. That's fine. Director of sanitation. Um. So are you? <laughs> are you basically a pseudo? You're going to start working for Red Hat, and what you're going to experience really is uh the the plot of Space Quest. Is that what's going to happen? Is that what's really happening here? It's just going to be Space Quest two all over again. See, why are all these BSDs? They've got text mode installers and stuff. That just seems really backwards. I mean, text mode installer is the best. Are people say that I'm not. I sure mean, given... the the old Red Hat text installer was was the best, but they they kicked them away. They they now use the you know the uh, file. Can we can we just take a moment here to um, experience the joy that is PC BSD and an installer that does not look like it's from 1980 something? Yeah. Okay, what so the I fuck is that? Phone. I have to mute this. Okay. Okay, guys. So can we just take a moment here to um to, to just look. Look. An installer. It looks modern. It looks clean. It's not annoying me in any way. This is just by choosing a different version of XFC, yeah? Just by, just by like, a different choice. This is what we get. So uh, let's go back. What have we got here? We've got English. I speak English. Yes. There you go. Desktop. That looks amazing. Next. Just there you go. Just whatever you want to do is fine, baby. Just, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, because guys, what I wanted to do is I wanted to read through some some BSD. I wanted to bask in the glow of BSD. I can install XFC. I've got XFC installed on my system now. I'm not gonna learn a fucking thing about BSD by looking by by playing with like something like Dragonfly. I think what I need to do is look at some like see like, like bask in the the BSD experience. You know, just sit here and be like. Yeah, this is BSD. This is what life is like. 
That's what that's what I need to do. That that's that's what it is. And this install process is me hitting next a few times. That's what I want from when I missed. Like the first time you install Space Quest is awesome, yeah. The first time you install um something like something something like Linux, the first time you do it, you don't start with Arch. You don't go, I'm gonna install Linux now, I'm just gonna install Arch, do you? You start with Ubuntu. Or you start with like you start with with Seuss. You start with something like with the big easy to use distros. You just bask in it for a bit, and then you go, "I want more from this. I want something different." And then you start like clawing your way through the undergrowth until eventually you come out and you're like, oh, you look around and you you're on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or you're on or you're on Arch Linux, and you're like, "Yeah, it's amazing." But you know, <laughs> BSD don't care about the common man. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Twitch really doesn't like BSD streams. Really? Why does it? Why does Twitch not like BSD streams? Is Twitch, am I getting what? What the hell? What the hell are you guys talking about? Uh, I've got so many fucking Firefox tabs open. Like honestly, like learning to use Firefox has been like I know say learning to use, but like making the switch to Firefox and actually using it has been a crazy, crazy ball ache. Because like I've been using um I've been using Chrome for so long now that I just I just don't know what I'm doing in BSD. I just I've just genuinely don't know what I'm doing. BSD in Firefox. I've got BSD on the brain now. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> okay, granted, it's got like a very okay. Um, can we just say S bit S bit? I see you calling me out here. Okay, Dragonfly was like was like. The seventies. It was, it was, it was, it was all like text based, and I'm using mechanical keyboards. So I felt like it was in the seventies. I should be like smoking and wearing a brown jacket. That's how I felt with that one. And this one, this is a bit vapor wavy, you know. This is a bit 1991. This is so far. I got them blue stuff at the bottom. Look at this blue shit down here. Got this cool blue shit down here. I got some icons and shit. And I got, I got, I got, I got this bar here that goes across. So yeah, it's not modern, but comparatively, I've come forward a decade. But that's perception, because I bet if I was like, I love BSD, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, see the shell, I see what you mean. Uh, what the fuck is happening with that? I'm just watching my stream, right? And it's going nuts. Well, that's weird. Wow. BSD is really fucking shit up on my screen. Hmm, I don't know what that's about. Can you guys see that? I'm seeing on my preview, I'm seeing like crazy flickering every time it goes up a percent. Okay, so uh, that's weird. That stuff going on under the hood. That's the BSD magic right there, making it go all fucking lunaticy. What if I just minimise that shit? Does that help? <gasps> that helped. Yeah, that helped. I did. I fixed it. I don't know what that's about. But I feel like I feel like I'm in the nineties now. You know, I feel like I feel like I'm in. I feel like I'm. I'm. You know, I've done a great job. Arch was my first Zoom. Did you seriously start on Arch? Because, like, I started on... What did I start? I mean, I started... Okay, originally, I used Red Hat way back. But, like, when I actually got seriously into Linux, and, like, I knew I wanted to use Linux, my th my first place to start was... um. What did I start? I started on Mint, and I lasted, like, two weeks. And I was on Ubuntu for a few... For about a month. And then I hopped around, basically, distro hopping. And then when I found Arch, it was, like, it was a breath of fresh air. I'd come to Arch. So, rather than, like, leaping back, it like, leaping to Arch, I'd actually, like... I'd ended up coming to Arch, and that was that was how I felt about it. Like you have to like discover Arch and get to the point where you need an Arch-based distro. So I would guess it's the same with Fedora because like Fedora is very restrictive. And I know sudo runs that, but I get you get to the point where you actually sort of you want that thing they have to offer. But I think you have to experience essentially what is the mainstream in order to get to the point where you know the you, you understand the nuances. It's like people who don't play MOBAs, right? They go. League of Legends and Dota, that's the same fucking game, right? And then you, you genuinely, uh, <laughs> by getting into a car accident on the way, you just, is that how much you hate the EBSD? It's nice. Yeah, frames cutting out. Lag, I don't know what, I'm dropping no frames. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, uh, like, what was I doing? I was just rambling, just talking shit at this point. I'm just, just waiting for that 9% to go up. Fuck, you know what it's doing? Yeah, so like maybe with BSD, I have to like start with the one that's easy and straightforward, and then I have to like slowly come to like going. I want to install Dragonfly. That's what I think anyway. 
And that's what I hope. I hope I'm going to get it from here. I hope I'm going to go in here. And it's going to be like, BSD as fuck. Here's some BSD splash screen. Here's some BSD with your BSD with your BSD on top. That's what we need. That's what we need, guys. I don't know why we're two minutes out, though. OBS CPU usage is at 12.8%, as you asked. I'm going to type that in chat because because it's it's slow because because chat is behind so i'll just type in chat myself here we go i'll just type in chat myself yeah here you go yeah that flickering was oh my yeah that that was ages ago that was like a full like that was like an hour ago when i was talking about the flickering that was like an hour ago i fixed it <laughs> oh Oh, I hope you don't die, Zoo. I hope you don't die. Is it the BSD didn't make you That wouldn't be nice. You don't want BSD to make you kill yourself. I feel I feel like it's just all going wrong. I mean, I'm transmitting it fine. It's, everything says it's fine. 12.8%. Oh dear, I don't know what's wrong, I don't know, where's my, my video preview's buffering, that's not a good sign is it, it's not a good sign, why is this taking so fucking long, why is it taking so long, yeah I'm at 12.4% CPU usage now, I've dropped zero frames, but I, I keep, my video preview keeps freezing, so I don't know what it's about. I guess the Arch pretty much being your full time distro, okay. Apart from month on me, okay, that's fair. Zoom. It just strikes me as weird that you that any that anyone starts on Arch. You know, it just it just seems a bit odd. It just I don't know, it just seems weird. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. What the fuck was that over there? <sighs> this is uh this is taking longer to install than I expected. I'll be honest. It's I mean this is like this is like going onto an SSD. It's coming off an SSD and going back onto an SSD. I don't know why, why it's take why it's taking so long to extract something. Yeah. So at thirty six percent, I'm hoping it gets to like thirty seven percent, and then it just goes, fuck it, all the way, maximum, it'll be fine. This is this is the BSD experience right here. This is why people come to BSD. Yeah, this is this is the driving factor behind the BSD adoption. I mean, it's it's twenty past seven now, and I I really want to go to bed by like ten, so I really have to like hope this installer does speed up at some point. Long that I can talk to you guys like this without without going. You know what? I'm, this, this is boring. That's what. Before I go, the guys, it's this is this is this is not going well because it's been on thirty six percent now for quite some time, for quite some time. Um, yeah, yeah. Try uh, let's try let's try some more uh, let's try some more some more some more uh, of, the, of the of the of the jazz. Let's see how we go with the jazz. Okay, that's better. BSD and jazz. Here we go again. You guys will have to let me know the sounds. Oh, I've just completely cut off my audio. Yeah, BSD and jazz. Do, do, do. Maybe we should like do some web browsing while we're uh, while we're waiting for this. Maybe we should. Uh... Ooh, that's not what I wanted at all. Do, 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 do. So I'm enjoying my Firefox lately. I'm, I'm I'm committing to the Firefox. What have we got in new stream? Uh, PC BSD. Let's do some BSD learning while we're here. Then let's do some PSD. Let's do let's do some of this. Okay. PCBSD. See what it's got for us. PCBSD is better than ever. It's slower than ever. It's fucking stupidest stall than ever. Uh, learn about PCBSD for desktops. Uh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a YouTube video that I'm not going to watch. Um, self healing, self healing foils. Is that's a bit of a isn't it? That is, that is, that's not a, that's not a fact, is it? I mean, that's just, 
That's just hot air going up there, surely. What? Arch is a... I'm confused because Zoom's just said that Arch is 100% easier than Arch. And that threw me quite a lot then, guys. I just didn't sound right. Uh, Slack is 100% easier than Arch. Just go, Zoom. Go. You can watch this on YouTube later because I'm going to put this entire, like, 10-hour stream on YouTube. It's not. It's going to be like three hours. It's fine. Adios. Au revoir. Goodbye. Peace off. See you later. Ta-ta. Uh, thank you for coming, by the way, Zoom. It's been a pleasure. Uh, PCDVC uses the ZFZ file system, which is specifically designed to protect your data from corruption. Some Linux distributions are adding the ZFC, but they claim, I like ZFC, but the rest assured that ZFC has been battled. That's a bit of a snipe, isn't it? I mean, seriously. Let's have a little look at this. What does that say there? Some Linux distributions are adding file systems they claim are like ZFS, but rest assured that ZFS has been battle tested and product ready in years. Production ready in years. PCBSD for several years. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit. It's a bit snipey. Just, I feel like they're being a bit snipey, and I don't, I don't like that. I thought these BSD guys was hippies. Simple and sleek computing. BSD is a desktop operating system based on FreeBSD, rather than having to build their own environment from FreeBSD, which can be consuming and difficult. PCBSD aims to make the FreeBSD experience easy and cheap. So yeah, so it's the, this, this is they're like, oh, it's done. Fucking hell, I was... Oh, God, I just got distracted by that, and now it's done. I feel like... Oh, mate, it went from 36% to 100%, just like I said it would. And I missed it. How's the jazz, guys? Are we enjoying the jazz? Just just go. Oh, no, I wanted to... Did I? Oh, no. I know what's happening here. I have that optical drive still in. Remove disk. Machine. Yeah, just restart it. It's, it's a VM. It's fine. It can take it. Let's put that over there so I can see what you guys are saying. There you go. Yeah. It said something up there about VirtualBox. I'm sure it did. I saw that. Do, 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 do. I don't know how long I don't know how long the delay is. So right, I'm gonna type now. I'm gonna say now. And then you guys can tell me how long it is between me saying now to me saying now. That'll uh How's the jazz? I don't know what's happening here. What's it doing? Why isn't it why aren't I seeing pretty KDE yet? The jazz is fine. Why aren't, why aren't I seeing why why aren't I seeing prettiness? This is taking too fucking long. It's cool. I turned down the jazz. That's why. Now, damn. So that's like what about a minute then? It's not that long. It's about a minute. Ah, oh, brilliant. It works. Not ideal, but it works. I mean, oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe we are there. Maybe we're there. I don't have a mouse cursor. Oh, my mouse leaves. How it's supposed to? That's cool. So if I move my mouse away from the window, look, I can see. My, I can use stuff. I can like, yeah. I think I've killed it. Is it dead? Is it? Is it? Is this what? I just. Is it? Is it the activity lights flashing? Look. I think you'd think if he clicked on that little activity thing, it'd come up with something good. So, taking away still, guys. The activity of the hard disk. Oh, 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 oh! Display is being configured. Keep these settings. Uh. Yeah, sure. Why not? We can do that. We can sort that out later. Yeah, my driver. Oh, I remember my driver. Okay, English. Next. All right. Oh, man, we want no. We're not in Americas. We're in the Europe. 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 
Istanbul. Isle of Man. London. Uh, it shouldn't have been that hard to find. Uh, PCBSD. That's fine. Uh, no, no. We'll call it PCBSD VM. Uh, yeah, it was VM. That's fine. I was going to get an amusing name like Lily or Tina, and I decided that I just didn't give a shit. Let me in one. Let me. Let me in one. I keep going to type more. I keep going to type my password. Yeah, I don't know why the delay's so heavy. Seriously, I don't. I'm just streaming as normal. It's probably something Twitch have done. Hey, user. Wow. Holy shit, pseudo. That's horrendous. Oh, username. HexDSL. Password. Let me in one. Let me in one. That's personal crypto. What's, you know, I don't need that shit. It's just... Okay, output device. PCM. Okay. Test volume. Is that clapping part of the jazz or is that... The, it's fine. We don't need SSH right now. Try refreshing. I'm using live stream. Yeah, uh, Sudo, just stop the stream, restart it. Just that's that's what I do when it happens. I don't know why it would be at, why it would be so much faster than everyone else. Yeah, so okay, so KDE or K or Fluxbox. Okay, KDE <laughs> KDE, we'll go with KDE. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, really? I don't know why there's a big delay, guys. I'm sorry. I can't help but think it's Twitch-related. I don't think it's Hex-related. I had 30 megabyte of buffer. Well, that's like an hour of my shitty video quality, guys. Because if I turn my video quality up, people can't watch. And then they complain they can't watch. So I've had to turn it down. So, yeah, there's that. What am I at, actually, guys? Let me have a look. What am I at? Uh, output in... Yep, to bitrate of 2000, and I'm outputting at 720, so it should look okay, it should be readable. If I output a 1080, it goes a bit wobbly. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is what I'm after, this is this is the BSD experience I was looking for. This Look at this, this is it dudes, this is it. This is this is real BSD. Let's, let's forget that pop up, let's just leave that there right for now. Just leave that there. And let's uh, and let's have a look at um. Oh, how do we change the desktop wallpaper? That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing, is the wallpaper. So you see all the sorts of ah uh, background. Is this probably in settings, right? It's probably in settings. We'll, we'll get we'll get to it in a bit. I'm just I'm jumping ahead of myself. I just want a pretty background, you know. And that that's not pretty. So okay, getting connected. If your computer is connected via network cable, it will be auto configured with DHCP. Wireless users may reach freaking it, blah, 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 blah. Boring. Uh, for additional software, it's Coffee Cup. Coffee Cup. App Store. Got it. Uh, repo. App Store. We're going to get App Store. We'll just say App Store. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Spelling won't help. I can't read. Oh, dude. You just... Oh, man. You're Red Hat. You're the elite, man. You're like the Illuminati of Linux users now. That's what it's like. That's what it's about being being red hat. You just you we dem, you demand respect, and this is the control panel. Got it. If you need to add new users, control panel. Okay. Accidents happen. Disk drives can crash. Files can be lost forever. PCBSD includes a life preserver application, which makes it easy to synchronize your user data and remote free now system. Blah blah blah. Yeah, boring. What's this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. PCBSD is community effort. With this song, it's terrible. What is this? This is like... Is this song like just trying to annoy me? Is it over? It's, oh, thank God, it's over. Okay, uh... Finish. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, let's... let's. What's this three here? What's this? Oh, okay, what's this? Uh... Okay, desktop needs the Virtuoso RFDR to store its data. Installing Virtuoso plugin is mandatory for using Nipomuk. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, virtual box shit, and it's gone. Okay, so let's uh, let's try the control panel. 
Okay, this looks like... Well, this looks a bit like the Windows control panel, if I'm honest. Uh. <laughs> Are you... So, so, so... No more jazz... I just typed I just typed in chat because I think Shred's like getting pissed off with it. Let's have a look. <coughs> I've lost the web browser, I don't know where the music's coming from at this point. There we go. Uh charts. Past week. Let's have a look at the past week's charts on FMA. It's just I'm just hitting the last week's charts, that'll be it's gonna be better than jazz, right? Gotta be better than jazz. Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Open the URL. So you want to play this? Okay, I'll play anything. I'll play anything. Yeah, what's this? I'm just gonna hit play. We'll bookmark that then. Okay. Okay, back to the back to the BSD. Now we've got the music sorted, then, guys. Okay, so software applications, update manager, and app cafe. Okay, about actions, Active Directory, boot manager, boot manager. Interesting. No, go away. I don't want that. Hardware compatibility. Okay, I've got a single click. Got it. Single click. No Wi-Fi, that's right. Sound, yes. Video resolution, yes. Driver, virtual box. Well, that's interesting because even when I install Linux, I have to install the virtual box drivers. But this seems to have got it, so that's cool. Pulse audio. Mount tray. What's mount tray? Mount tray. No, is that is that, that thing down here? That's the mount tray. Wow, is this is this just KDE being KDE or is it just this slow? That's a fucking hell of that. Desktop theme, there we go. There's something I can get behind. Turn back dolphin. Go away, dolphin. Oh no, I've got loads of mount trays now. Look at all the mount trays I've got. Wait. Oh, man, it's really running weird. Ooh. I killed it. I killed it. I killed BSD. Like a pro. Wait. <laughs> I just clicked main trail like five times because I thought it was broken. I was like, no, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> oh. Come on. Don't be come on, BSD. Come back, baby. We're sorry. No, I don't have 3D acceleration on. I've literally just installed it. <laughs> oh, God, this is the best BSD stream ever. Okay, so I've just had a text message. I'm gonna reply to my text message. Okay, I'm just I'm just replying to my text message. Okay, there we go. No, nope, that's the wrong password. It's let me in one, isn't it? <laughs> I need my VS. I need my VM compromise of the perfect stream. 
Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. That flickering's happening again. That I see the flickering, guys. The flickering seems to happen whenever that's full screen. Yay! Oh, we've read that. We don't need that now. Okay, so this time we're not going to fuck with everything, all right? We're just going to... We're not going to click that app tray thing like five times, yeah? We're not that that mount tray. We're just going to... We've got another text. It's fine. It's okay. I want to see the goddamn desktop themes. Yeah. This is just... Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Let's, let's apply that. That's what that looks like. It looks no different. It looks the same. Wait, does it think my battery's running out? <laughs> it thinks my battery's running out. It's a bit weird. Okay, that theme didn't apply, did it? That theme was a letdown. Let's apply that one. Okay, so it just applies it to... Okay, so it's just it's just KDE. It's not some kind of weird magic fork of KDE. It's just, it's just KDE. Okay, that's fine. Desktop effects, virtual desktop, desktop themes. Okay, so. But nothing mind blowing there. Nothing mind blowing. I'm just gonna, just gonna change my world there. Okay, BSD Control Center. App Cafe. Let's look at the App Cafe. Ooh. Please enter the password. Let me in one. Cool, thanks, Rob. I'll, uh, I'll look at that in a bit. Update. Update. There's nothing to update, right? There's nothing to update. All packages are up to date. So you're saying you link me what? Are you on about the the one you, the one I'm playing now will get me a copyright claim, or the one that that I, you've just linked me? What are we talking about? What? Okay. Right, at home. Let's have a look. Oh, that being updated. So hold on, Rob. The music that's on right now is going to get me a copyright claim on Twitch and YouTube. Is that what we're saying? Because that sucks, dude. It's just not great. It's not ideal, guys. Oh, the update's updating. I want to finish. Ah, oh, it's alright. The FMA's good. It's alright. Because, like, maybe it's an English thing, but FMA, to me, has always meant fuck my ass. So, whenever people keep typing FMA into chat, I'm like, what? Okay, don't play that music. Got it. Why is it taking so long? Did I break it again? Did I, bre did I break it again? I don't know. Can I just close that? Is that fine to do? Because an update shouldn't take that long. No, it's, it's still... Whatever. Okay, let's just minimize you. Let's find out what this shit is down here. What's this shit? Alright, update, fine. What's this thing? That's the app tray that killed that last time. We won't touch that. Volume, 100%. Mixer? So? It's just KD, isn't it? It's just... What's this thing? Life preserver, pop up settings, refresh tray. Life preserver. Okay. That that doesn't do anything. I haven't got anything set up. Okay, it's just my home directory. So I take it that's a clipper. No? Yeah, it's a clipper. So it's just a clipper. Device notify. This thinks my battery's running out. Which is really fucking weird. So like this this is BSD. I don't well, I still don't get it then guys. The thing I originally said, which is why I'm even doing all this BSD stuff, is I genuinely do not get what it is. I'm still confused. Is it just I mean it's it, this is this is KDE. This is just this is like an okay theme KDE. What's different about BSD? So just the kernel's different, it's curated experience. 
That, surely that's just a distro. I mean, that's just a distro, right? Am I missing something? Is there something I'm not understanding? Because I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I just feel like a distro. I'm, I don't get what the deal is with it. There's nice backgrounds though, I'll give it that. Try, yeah, I'm waiting for that um, app cafe thing to finish and then I'm going to set something up and do something. I was going to try some... Uh... Yeah, it is KD4. Is it KD4? Is it KD4? That explains what hasn't totally crashed. No, it did crash. I can't even try that. Yeah, system updates. System is updated, apparently. Oh, grass. That's what I don't get, though. It's like, if it's just running Linux applications, what's what's the point? Why not, I mean, I know it's easy to say, why not just run Linux? Why not just run BSD? I, I get that, but why do they both exist? Where, where does it fit in here? What's I like that. That's pretty. It's like, there wasn't a one from Canonical like that a while back. The framework is not coming to BSD for some reason. Is that right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. I know they're not. I know they don't have. Um, I know they don't have. I don't have a uh, system D. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's look at the handbook. Want to see? Let's show me handbook, I've, which I've opened twice because I keep double clicking because I'm not used to KDE. Okay, the, the, the help center. I don't want you. I want I want this thing. I want this thing. Show me. Well, that's great. Okay. Yeah, that's, does not stretch. Okay, so wow, that's tiny. That's tiny. Uh, a large front control plus. It's better. Yay! All right, so it's all okay. Okay, so yeah. Hot top, we got hot top. Uh, no, oh, it's just top then. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that just looks the false the foil like structures the same and stuff. And the commands are the same and stuff. There's, there's nothing particularly weird about it. So let's have a little look at goals and features. Easy to install. Yes. Yes, I agree with that. That was very easy to install. Much easier than the, the other one we tried, which turned out to be a chorish. Uh, automatically configure hardware. Yeah, did that too. Initive desktop interface. Yep. Easy software management. Um, no, I'm not seeing the easy software manager because it's been fucking updating for 10 minutes. So I can't, you know, it started at 1938, it's then 1944. Not the year, of course, the, the, the thing, the other one. Um, time, that's the one. So easy to update, no, virus free. That's not, a it's not affected by viruses, spy with the malware. Well, that's just, people say about Linux, it's just not true, is it? There's no, like... It's it's designed to it's designed to be more hardy against them, and there's less about for it. But it's not it's not just blatantly not effective. No defragmentation. Laptop support secure environment. BSD provides pre-configured firewall and built-in host-based intrusion detection system. Okay, well that's interesting. System administration works via control panel containing. Okay, so SUS can offer all this though, can't it? Localization. A vibrant community. Okay, I have yet to see the vibrant community. Uh, and this company offers support. Okay. Okay. PCBSD is based on FreeBSD, meaning that it is not a Linux distribution. Uh, many Linux distros use EXT4. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. Okay. Riser FS, PCB uses ZFS. Okay, so use ZFS, not Hammer. 
So that's another, that's another interesting one then, because that hammer was unique to that dist to that distro. I'm saying distro. I'm not even sorry at this point. Uh, S4. Okay, XF3 journaling system, extended attributes, blah 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 blah. So yeah, it supports all the basic stuff. So it supports all the stuff we need. BSD and Linux commands. See, that's just Linux commands, though, isn't it, guys? Okay. Okay. Why choose free BSD? Comparing BSD and Linux. There you go. Yeah, Rob, I don't get it either. I'm genuinely trying to understand because I feel like... I mean, I genuinely, genuinely feel... Like, by not knowing, I'm being ignorant, you know? Because, like, BSD might be ace for certain things. And the reason I'm even doing this is because I want to feel... I want to feel involved. I want to feel like I know something. You know? I want to feel like I at least understand what it's about. And I can't understand that. So, comparing BSD and Linux. So what's the difference? Yeah, there you go. So, what's, the, what's really the difference between, say, Debian and Linux and FreeBSD? For the average user, the difference is surprisingly small. No shit. Both are Unix-like operating systems. Yeah, I know that. Both are developed by non-commercial projects. I know that as well. BSD compared to Linux. Okay, so this is this whole section. Yeah. Pseudo. You know what, Pseudo? You've, that's exactly how I feel it is. It's like, I like, as like say you're using Windows. You go, oh, I want something different. I want something unique. I'm going to be a Linux user. And then your beard gets long and grey. And you go, fuck this Linux. I'm going to go over the horizon. That's how I feel. Okay. Who owns BSD? No one personal corporation owns BSD. It's created and distributed by... It's a fucking distro. Okay. BSD kernels are developed and updated following open source development model. Each project maintains a publicly accessible source tree, which contains the source... Yes, I know what open source is. I know what that is. Core team. FreeSBSD and NetBSD each have a core team which manages that just talking about the open source hierarchy right this arrangement differs from linux there we go yeah i'm not saying no pseudo i'm not saying that bsd i'm not saying bsd is bad because as far as i can tell it's just hipster linux so i don't know but this is again i'm trying to understand i'm i really want to understand where it fits in because people like it people use it no one person controls the content of the file system in practice, this is different. Uh, difference is overrated. Oh, that's honest, isn't it? No one person controls the content of the system. In practice, this difference is overrated. Fuck, so I'm going to read it then. On the other hand, there is a central repository, a single place where you can find the entire operating source system sources, including their older versions. Well, how is that different to Linux? I don't. This is just literally a distro. Like, a distro describes all this. BSD. See, I'm not saying less used on. I mean, how can you say... I mean, because Freddy's just said in chat there. Look, I can't bring it over. So Freddy's just said in chat that it's, uh, that he, that it's less used, than, that it's less developed than Linux, right? Um, but I don't see how, because KDE is KDE. Like, eggs is eggs. Surely if it's using KDE, there can't be a problem. It's just going to, you know... BKD, isn't it? Uh, as a result, the more formalized maintenance of a single S, uh, SVN source tree, BSD development is clear. Impossible to access any version of the system by release number or by date. SVN also allows incremental updates for the system. So it's rolling distro. So they're saying point 0.4 is rolling. Am I understanding that? Yep, hipster Linux. That's all, so far, that's all I'm seeing. Okay. FreeBSD provides systems in three different releases. As with Linux, releases are assigned numbers. You've just said there's no number. Like, literally, look. Releases are assigned numbers. Yeah? It is possible to access any version of the system release numbers by date. So, we already established this. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking... This is what I'm saying, guys. It's What is the point? I'm, I'm trying... I'm, I've gone through through like an hour and 30 minutes of trying to understand the difference. I'll kind of zoom in for this for you guys. Yeah. The application... Oh, okay. I'll move it across a bit. Oh, this doesn't... Okay, this isn't wrapping text. Okay. Which should I use? BSD or Linux? Okay. 
This is a great question, isn't it? What does this all mean in practice? Who should use BSD? I should have just fucking downloaded this, shouldn't I? No, no, pseudo. Um, that's what I'm saying, though. It like you can say BSD as a whole is less worked on the Linux, but KDE as a project is still its own thing. So it's not the version of KDE I'm using now is not less worked on the Linux version of KDE because it's KDE. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say. I, I understand that KDE is not Linux. I, I was just saying that it's the same project. And then they just take it, make it work on their distro, and then it's KDE. Okay, who should use it? This is a very difficult question to answer. Here are some guidelines. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <sighs> just <laughs> I should have just downloaded this. I would have saved myself installing. If you already use open source operating system and you're happy with it, there's probably no good reason to change. BSD systems in particular, FreeBSD, can have notably higher performance than Linux. Really? Really? Well, really? Is that a fact? Um, but this is not across the board. In many cases, there are little to no difference in performance. That's more honest. In some cases, Linux may perform better than FreeBSD. My God, this sentence, guys. FreeBSD BSD systems, in particular FreeBSD. Now, isn't this PC BSD that I've just installed? Yeah, so there's not even this, this distro anyway. Can have, can have notably high performance, but not really, is the next sentence. But maybe not. Maybe it's the opposite is true. So it's, this whole thing has been, a, that whole sentence is a waste of time reading. In general, BSD systems have better reputation for reliability. That I've heard. That's that's the first point they've raised that I'm like, yeah, yeah, runs on a lot of NAS devices. Yeah, I get that. In general, BSD systems have better reputation for reliability, mainly as a result from more mature code base. Again? Just really? I mean, I get this first bit. BSD systems have better reputation for reliability. That's true. Everyone I talk to is like, well, BSD doesn't crash. BSD is reliable. I get that. But that's the file system more so than the desktop, surely. Because that's what everyone bangs on about. BSD projects have better reputation for quality and completeness of their documentation. Again, that is true. People say things to me like, BSD documentation is excellent, but so is the ArchWiki. That's what they say. And then I go, okay, that makes sense to me. The various documentation projects aim to provide activity, actively uploaded documents in many languages. Yeah, okay, that's fine. BSD license may be more attractive than GPL. Okay, there's a valid point. Yep, yep, that's totally a valid point. The license is more attractive than GPL. Get it? No arguments. BSD can execute most Linux binaries. While Linux cannot execute BSD binaries. Really? Is that a, is that a thing, guys? What is BSD exclusive? Show me something BSD exclusive. We'll test it. BSD implementations can also execute libraries from Unix-like systems. As a result, BSD may present an easier migration route from other systems than Linux. Okay, so BSD is closer to Unix. The kernel is closer to Unix. So if you're coming from a Unix environment to BSD, it makes more sense to come from a Unix environment to Linux. That's a valid point. I'm not sure how many people are still using Unix, core Unix instead of another system. Uh, yeah, you can install, Rob, you can install Steam on FreeBSD, but it's only a recent thing. Someone's actually made some like a project to do that recently. We've been providing support contract BSD for nearly a decade. Okay, cool. Okay, that, that was that was pointless. Uh, uh, okay, let's just get rid of that now. That's... No fucking way. That's not still updating. That can't still be updating. That that can't be a thing, surely. No. I started this update at 19.38. It's now 19.55 and that's still running. That that can't be a thing. That's got to have crashed, hasn't it? Wow. Okay, what we got? Let's have a look at our default applications for this then. Uh, okay, applic 
Uh huh. It stopped again. Okay. Nope. I didn't. I didn't click that. Oh. Nope. I don't know why you think I want that. Applications. I've clicked applications now, and nothing's happening. Is this a KDE thing? Oh, it's just lost my mouse, apparently. Apparently fucked my mouse. Development. QT4 documentation. Okay, QT4 stuff. Education. Miscellaneous. Nothing's in... Wait, is nothing in there? Oh. Virtual globe. Okay, what else? KDE application. KDE. Oh, GNOME. Okay. No, No, GIMP. Ah. I said no. I meant GIMP. Shut up. I know, I know what things are. I got excited. I had a G. Alright, Windows. Single window mode. Boom. Yep, that's... that's <laughs> We've established. This is GIMP. Right. Okay. Uh... Internet, Firefox, Web Conqueror, Web Browser, Multimedia, VLC. Uh, okay. Yep, that's, uh, that's VLC. Settings. Uh... Okay, settings, yeah. System. Okay, yeah. I'm um, yeah. Yeah, that's uh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not yeah. I'm not sold guys. I'm not seeing the point guys. So uh uh is Emacs on here? Okay. Pseudo apt is it app get? How do we install things on here? Oh, that gets not found. But pseudo works. How do we install software, guys? What's this? What's this install software? Does anyone know the install software command? We'll figure it out. Vi? Vi? Yeah, pseudo's right. Vi is on everything. You're not wrong. Oh, what? Yes, it is. Wow. Huh. Wait, what? Is it cute? What? Why doesn't that work? Why doesn't that work? Why, why, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Just close that. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just close that. It's fine. Oh, oh package. Okay, cool. Thanks, Gus. So, uh, PKG install uh, Emacs. Pseudo. Oh, because escape. <laughs> oh, okay. One second. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rob. Very nice. Don't help him. Don't help him. It's funny. Yeah, that's very nice. That is. That's what I get from these guys. Huh? Don't help him, it's funnier. Wait, is there no Emacs? Yes, but it's a torture for me to look at you. So right, that's the entertainment, it's like slapstick comedy. That's what it is. Yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, there's no Emacs, what am I supposed to do? Uh, so I never awesome. got that British humor like Mr. Bean and so. Yeah, me neither. Uh, install, I like install. IT crowd. That's 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 really funny. <laughs> that is. I wonder if Shreddy's watched that yet. Sh uh, Sh uh, Shreddy didn't watch that yet. Or no, didn't, didn't watch it. Yet. Okay, what should we install, guys? What to, what what should we install? What's good to install? Uh, uh, ch check check first if if you are on ZFS or or what what, what file system did you uh, did you install? What files is that? I just spammed next. 
Mount minus V. Mount minus V. Yes. Okay. That stands distinctly like a Linux command to me. Uh, yeah, I'm on VOZFS. ZFS? Yeah. Because I don't see it. You know why? It's, it's, I have to wait for the yeah. one's video it? to arrive. One, one ZFS. Shreddy seems to have caught up now. Ah, ZFS. Okay, then make ZFS list. Yeah, I'm You I'm, know the I was, ZFS commands? No, I don't know anything about ZFS. I know that it's... No, um, so so we, we do some uh, ZFS commands. Okay, let's do some ZFS. ZFS list. Uh, cool, guys. And with ZFS list, you should see all the sub-volumes of your... Uh, 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 sub-volumes. Um, I mean, yeah. file systems of your pool. Tanks. Yeah. We've got root, temp, user, user home. Yeah, these are just... Yeah, these are just... Yeah, this is just man points, and that's, aren't they? That's, that's ZFS, yes. That's, that's ZFS uh, from Tank. Tank is, is there uh, at the pool and Z pool list uh, or Z pool status. No, Z, Z pool status uh, shows you the status of your uh, pools. I cool. Think. My state is online. It's online, and, yeah. and you have. Uh, it's it's really interesting when you have like a RAID or a RAID Z or whatever you know, you know like or an ARC cache or something like that because there you see how how it looks like you see you have one uh, um, tank is your uh, pool and you have one partition in that pool one disk. Okay. And you could add several more that that would be like uh, rate zero or something like. That. So like, is that like LVM? Yes, it is. Um, Z, ZFS had, has a built-in LVM, uh, just like um, ButterFS has. Well, ButterFS has also a, a built-in LVM. See, I use uh, X, I use uh, Extended Four on my server, and it's LVM, and it's fine. Yes, but, but with ButterFS you have uh, uh, the LVM inside the file system. <laughs> uh, the, the, over in chat, Shreddy's announced that he doesn't the, like the, it, uh, uh, There is There is one, one big, one big uh, uh, advantage. And you see it when you, when you look at the uh, um, ZFS list. You see that you have all your uh, storage available to all your file systems right oh well, that's and that is that is not happening with with um, um lbm because you have you have still file systems and each of these file system right. has a specific uh, size and here you have for every every uh, file system you have all uh, um, space available you okay, can so limit that i've course. got 116 gig available to every file system that's useful yes yes so I, I don't think i understand why people use zfs i get and imagine ZFS. imagine imagine you you would have more more uh, disks in the pool you you just you, you don't you don't change anything you have like you have zfs you right. have a, 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 a hard disk, like 8 terabytes or something like that. Right. And then you, you, you figure out, okay, I, I need 16. You just add a, another 8 terabyte disk, add it to the pool, and it is instantly available for all file system. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, LVM kind of does most of it. LVM that. doesn't do that. Well, LVM no chance you you can you can do with it with LVM. Yeah, but with LVM I can add a drive I can add a drive to the LVM and just extend it. Over yes, the side. you could. Yes, but but it's not instantly available no, it's to not, all it's your. Not. Yes, there there is much more you you could you had had to do for uh, to imitate um, ZFS. Okay, so the, so LVM is like a knockoff ZFS. So I, I, my issue has never been with ZFS. I understand that people people like the ZFS. It's good. I get that. But is that the only reason people use VSD? Because I can't see any benefit from a desktop point of view. Uh, free BSD or what? Well, any BSD. I can see no de no benefit on a desktop. Uh, 
No, ZFS, ZFS is available on FreeBSD. Is ZFS on, also uh, available on, on Dragonfly? Ubuntu? On Dragonfly you have Hammer and, and such. And OpenBSD is more uh, for routers because you have the uh, latest version of, of uh, PF, uh, uh, packet filter, and another uh, software. So, so you choose what, whatever works best for you. Uh, Linux is also not the best for everything, you know, like few years ago you couldn't do gaming on Linux <laughs> that has changed and the same is going on with, with, with BSDs. Okay, my thing that I thought was crashed is still updating apparently, that's part of the problem I'm having. It's not crashed, it just took that long to update. What, what, what do you update? The, um, the app cafe. I hit the button for update because it what kind of What is app cafe? I don't know. I don't know. It's the app store thing, I think. Or the update manager. Uh -huh. I'm not sure which one of them categories it falls into. But either way, it says 4.30 of 863, so maybe maybe we'll know. Um, yeah, pseudo. ZFS is basically in Linux now. I mean, it, there's some sketchy legality, but if you want, yeah, you can set up ZFX and... Yeah. But you can set ZFS, it up. ZFS and, and, and Linux won't work. Never. Oh, it'll work. They make everything work eventually. Yes, but basically, what what ZFS in Linux is a re-implementation. Yeah, but we re-implement uh, a lot. Was, do do you do you know the podcast uh, BSD now? Yes, it's part of the Jupiter Broadcasting Network, so I don't listen. Yes, yes, and they were talking about this, and one of them to uh, uh, was saying something like. There is too much of uh, of technology in this uh, ZFS, um, so it, it it will not be easy for Linux guys to just you know, you know like imitate that, re, -in re implement that kind of uh, software. That will will take some time for them to um. catch. To catch, to catch up. Oh, absolutely. But that said, I think it will catch up. And I think when it does, there's even less reason to use BSD. Yeah, I've noticed the App Cafe is deleting <laughs> the loads of shit. reason to use BSD is No. Yeah. No, the, the, the BSD, like ZFS is the best reason to use BSD. But, there's, but that's going to be in Linux within no, two the, years. No, there, there, there were BSDs before ZFS. Uh, for example, FreeBSD 7 didn't have ZFS. You had UFS 2 or UFS 1. So uh, I'm getting really worried because the guys in chat have noticed before me, but this app cache thing is literally just deleting files. I don't know what it's deleting. It's just deleting everything. Oh no, it's all going wrong and all I did was click update. I'm glad this is a VM. I wow. don't know what you're doing there. And then, oh, oh, no, no, it's deleting, yep, yep. Maybe oh, yeah. it's deleting and then uh, putting in the new versions of software. I, I think know. it's basically just reinstalled everything. Yes. Okay, so I've spent the last two hours messing with BSD stuff, and I'm no closer to understanding why. I think... If anyone ever asks me, I'm just going to tell them it's hipster Linux. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hipster Linux. Yep, I just destroyed my VM by pushing the update button. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. That's... Yeah. Oh, no. Now it's now it's installing the thing. It's just... Okay, so now it's reinstalling all the things it just deleted. Also, it's also taking a lot of bandwidth. It just stole my music out. Wow. Wow, ten percent wow, this update process is long. Wow. It's like so this is like updating all my AUR files at the same time. Speaking of which guys, the amount of problems I had getting the stream started was not okay. I like started an hour after I thought I was because FFmpeg was just gone nuts and was some lib like lib.so thing was doing backflips on my system. So I had to completely remove FFmpeg, then then install 
this fucking library and then reinstall FFmpeg and then reinstall OBS in order to get everything working. It's been, it's not been fun, guys. Yes, I have this coming as well because my new capture dongles does not work with the version I'm using. So I will need to compile my own FFmpeg version too. Yeah, that's, uh, that doesn't surprise me. Um, I just I just use FFmpeg dash full. Is the you know the FFmpeg full thing? That's what I use. You think that'd be fairly safe? Do, do, do. Um, hmm. Yeah, my this is. <sighs> yep. Um, yep. Nineteen thirty-eight to start updating. Yep. Nineteen thirty-eight to start my update. It's now 2011, and this is a fresh install. I haven't installed a single piece of software on this, so this is a completely fresh install. So the fact that I've been waiting like an hour for an update is crazy, and the fact it didn't even go, dude. So does that? Well, it's not not really cool and what you think. Yeah. Yeah. It's a PC BSD or what is it? PC BSD. Yes. That's not oh, really new. Well, no, but I mean, I downloaded the ISO from the website today. Yes. It's uh, 223. <sighs> yeah. I kind of want to let it finish because I wanted to set App Store before I left. But it's it's not looking like I'm look I'm feeling less interested. Yeah, pseudo. Um, I understand your worries, and pseudo's just said in chat that I know now. I now know um, that sticking with Linux is where it's at. Well, now you work for Red Hat, you literally have to say that. But um, as someone who's not working for Red Hat, I am under no, I under no desires to switch to BSD now. I haven't loaded this and gone because, like, when I was in Windows and I loaded a Linux distro in a VM, I went, "This is some good shit. I want to, I want to live here. This is some good shit." And I thought maybe that happened with BSD, you know, maybe I'd find the next level. And what actually happened was I've just got annoyed and salty. <laughs> yeah. Just watching the update. Yep, it's decided now I'm not hipster enough for BSD. Does, oh, do you think my Steam controller would work? Do you think my Steam controller would work? I'm not sure it would. I've just totally hit my monitor as well. Oh. Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Uh. <laughs> yeah, actually, Shred, you did say that you'd never used BSD before you uh, before you you worked at Red Hat. But you also pointed out you'd never even used it. So you know, come on, dude. Who's the so we've got Red Hat for uh, Linux. So was you gonna go and work at BSD.com? Was that what your plan, Sudo? Jesus Christ. 257 of 502. This better be like the installer and jump sometime soon because I'm losing interest rapid. Oh, man. My mouse point seems to stop working. Look, I can't click anything. Oh, no, it's working. No, nope. no, it's not working. Wow. So, uh, Gus, do you run BSD at home? Is this what you run every day? At my computer or what? Just, just wherever. Do you run BSD anywhere? Free BSD at my uh, server. That makes and, sense um, for a server. That's at Hetzner. And then my two um, uh, digital ocean droplets are also free BSD. Again, that makes sense. For servers, I can see it. And... I am planning, I, I, I actually, I bought a new router, right. the third one, and this is, this is going to be uh, PC engines, and I am planning on installing OpenBSD on it. Again, all and these things. I will, I, will, I, will then, I will then also install OpenBSD on my Edge router lights. Even though I am not planning on using it, actually, because the hardware is just too slow. See, that's that's interesting because all those server situations, I can kind of see how you'd want to install it for the for the uh, file system. 
but it, I still don't get why I would run it on desktop. A desktop? Be. Yeah. FreeBSD on a desktop? Any uh, BSD on a desktop. No, on a desktop only only uh, FreeBSD would make sense because FreeBSD has the best uh, hardware support. Yeah, and pseudo... In, in, in specific cases, it can make sense. But very specific. Yeah, I, I, I'm not... I mean, I'm, this update's nearly finished now. I really want to see this App Store thing. Um, and then I'm going to call it a day because I think I've seen everything I need to see then. When I've seen the App Store, I might have to restart. Who knows? When I've seen the App Store, I can go, yep, I tried FreeBSD. I gave it a fair shot. I'm not using FreeBSD at my laptop because of some hardware that wouldn't work. Like my um, D D DVB-T adapter, my digital video broadcasting, and also capture devices wouldn't work and so such. <laughs> so, yeah, it's no one's selling it to me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not feeling, oh, two more applications, three more and we're done, sorry, three more. Yeah, it's almost done, I'm getting excited. Rob, Rob's with me in chat. He's like, it's almost done. Come on. Yeah. Now now it's installing something else. Now it's just... Oh, fuck's sake. I'm never going to get this time of my life back, you know? This is it. Oh, now it's installing something else. Now it's installing something else. Oh, it's going to install GCC, obviously. We need that. Did you try Gento? Gentoo, oh god, um, I started trying Gentoo when I first switched over and then I was like, fuck this arch. Well, I was, I was trying out Gentoo like more than 10 years ago, so it's really, really... Ah, yeah, I get, the thing is that It's more like 10 years, it's like 15 years almost. But back then, the problem was that our computers at that time were so slow that you compiled your compiler and then your kernel and your first like distribution of Gento like two days. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Now, and, and now we have the hardware and no one cares. <laughs> but no, man, uh, I've got... Gento... Gento, Gento is is still is still at, in in one one point Gento is still leading, and the, and that is try to install another uh, distribution on a platform running a MIPS sixty four CPUs. You are not going to get anything else than Gento on it. Sorry, I had a message. Uh, it's still installing. It said it was almost done, Rob. I was with you, Rob, in chat. I was with you. And now it's now it wants to install two gig of more space. Uh, Jesus Christ. This is the ridiculous update ever. I, 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 I oh, man. I, you know what? I don't understand why, why you use such a crappy application like... Oh, I absolutely agree, but I, I just thought, hey, I want to see the store. You know, I didn't, I didn't think that. Um, um, it, uh, it's always not even time. It's just, it, it's just it? bad, bad programming. It's, it's just kind of stop it, kill it, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually with Shreddy on this one. Um, Shreddy. I'm I'm calling it a day. I'm calling it a day. You know what? Forget just just goodbye. I'm calling it goodbye. I'm gonna I want it I want it off right now. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I just I just I just I just rage quit BSD. As promised guys, I promised that I'd try it, you know. I, I said to you guys, hey, I'm gonna install it, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. And after two hours and five minutes, I give less shits now than I did when I started. I literally, I literally want it. I just, I just, I just glad it's over. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to remove, I'm just going to remove and, and delete all the files because I'm never going back to that again. You know, I'm just, I'm never, <laughs> never again. 
It's over, guys. You do you do you know what my first BSD experience was? I don't know, but it sounds like you, you like self abuse because you've installed it more than once. Uh, it was NetBSD 1.5, and that's really, really long ago. That's like I don't know, 15 years at least. Right, uh, for the guys in chat here, I've said uh, my next step is to live in BSD for a week, to which I've instantly replied because I can't tolerate the chat delay. I've had to say no fucking way. This is not my life now. At least if you try Windows, at least if you try Windows, <laughs> you're not going to have to watch an update for an, for an hour and a half. It's That's it. I tried, guys. I've tried BSD. I'm calling this, uh, I'm calling this over. Uh, I ran uh, free BSD on a... Um a Hyper-V, in a, on a Hyper-V uh, Windows um, Server 2012, R2, did run quite well. Well, I've tried guys, I hope you guys had fun watching me struggle and watching me fall. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call it a day though, so to the guys on the stream, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say goodbye. And uh, yeah, and uh, if anyone wants to make me a new outro card, I could desperately do with one and I don't have any time. So consider that, guys. You know my email address. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you got to this point on the YouTube version, you're a lunatic. Um, but the guys in chat, thank you very much. And I hope you all have hit the little heart button. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Goodbye, chat.